Hey right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure, I'm heading out onto Sagamore Lake. There's a lot of history back in here. Follow along. Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Sagamore Lake and it offers some spectacular mountain views over in the distance. And this is a good sized body of water. I would consider it a lake. The Great Camp Sagamore is over here to my right. And uh, yeah, there is a lot of history back in here. So yeah, the uh, Sagamore Lake is just south of Racket Lake. Um, it used to be known as Shed Lake before being renamed Sagamore Lake by Alfred Vanderbilt, who, after he purchased the Great Camp in 1901. Um, this Great Camp was constructed by William West Durant and between 1895 and 1897. And yeah, in 1901, uh, when Vanderbilt bought it, yeah, Durant was forced to sell it because he was in a lawsuit with his sister over the mismanagement of their mother's estate. And that pushed him to the edge of bankruptcy. So it was eventually purchased by uh, Alfred Vanderbilt, who expanded and improved the property by putting in flush toilets and a sewer system, hot and cold water, and including a hydroelectro plant to give it electricity. But Vanderbilt died in the 1915 in the Lusitania, the ship there that was sunk by a British, or not a British, a German u-boat i think it was and um leaving the great camp sagamore to his widow margaret emerson who in herself was a great sportswoman loved the outdoors and she continued to occupy that camp seasonally for many years but eventually miss emerson transferred the property to syracuse university which operates the site to this day um and in uh in conjunction with the New York State DEC because we all know if the DEC took control of it um, because of the forever wild provision of the New York State Constitution um, they would have had it would have required that all the buildings camp buildings to be demolished and to skirt around this the Preservation League of New York arranged with the state asking the title transferring the property with deed restrictions to a not-for-profit institution which was Syracuse University and um, the Great Camp Sagamore has continued to function as an education institution dedicated to preserving this national historic landmark.
today the uh, Great Camp Sagamore is open to public for accommodations and tours from Memorial Day to about mid-October. Uh, there are no telephones in the rooms back here. There is no cell service back here. There are no TVs. So if you come, you won't be bothered by any of those devices. Your re relaxation it would be assured. There's also a not around that lean-to on the property where you can enjoy a campfire or sleep there for the night. But then keep in mind though, the Great Camp Sagamore is not a hotel, it's not a resort, it's not a motel. Instead, it's a, a learning experience, learning about the uh, living history that is on this property. So if you come, Great Camp Sagamore is in Racket Lake, right across the the road from uh, what to turn into Racket Lake to go downtown Racket Lake there's a road big sign that says Great Camp Sagamore and it's 3.2 miles back in on a dirt road and there's definitely no cell, cell service back here it's a very pretty area very quiet area um, there is no motor boats that I know of on this lake unless there's one at the camp there and I did not see any I just saw kayaks and canoes but the uh, this is a very peaceful back here, very nice. So it is off of Route 28 in Racket Lake. There's a big sign right there that says Great Camp Sagamore, 3.2 miles. It would be worth a visit. All right, folks, if you watched all the way through, thanks for that. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Continue to follow the adventure. And remember, folks, tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us. So disconnect from that Wi-Fi, connect to this out here. You won't be disappointed.